What's up everyone? I'm super excited to announce to you that I'm holding my yearly Street Stunts Jam next Saturday, September 24th. So if you're going to be in Utah or you're from Utah and you want to come hang out with me and train and just do parkour, totally chill, fun day, then you should come. It's going to be at 1 o'clock at the University of Utah next Saturday. Don't forget. Um, I'll actually include a link to the video of last year's jam so you can see what that was like. We had a turnout of like 50 to 100 people show up throughout the day. So it was super awesome to just see the community come together here in Utah and see such a large portion of the community. And it's always a ton of fun. I also, if you want more information on the event itself, you can check out the link in the description to the Facebook page and let me know if you're coming. So that way I can get an idea of how many people will be there. I also will be selling some t-shirts there as well as a specially designed street stunt shirt just for that jam. So be sure if you want to get one of those shirts to come to the jam and check it out. I also wanted to give another shout out to Kyle Ball, one of my Patreon supporters, because he sent me some sweet Instagram videos of the tricks he's been learning and getting good at, and so check them out. So if you want to check out more of Kyle's videos, then go ahead and follow him on Instagram. It's the underscore gomper underscore stomper. I'll have a link to his Instagram in the description below. So be sure to check out his Instagram, give him some support. And uh, once again, if you want to become a patron, I'll have a link in the description. Uh, but no obligation, it's just a cool way to connect. Or if you want some one-on-one -on -one parkour advice or questions answered, that's definitely a way to do that, to reach out to me, because I answer everybody who are patrons, because that's the easiest way for me to do that and provide that type of support back. So because in my last vlog I asked you guys to give me some questions, I did get some more questions in the comments of my latest video, and so I'm going to now just answer a couple of them and see, see where we go. So this first one I came across is from... Jonathan Armstrong, yeah. What was the hardest part of starting your YouTube career? Well, that's a good question. I did answer that in the comments, but I will expound upon it a little bit. I feel like the hardest moment, or the scariest moment you could say when starting to do a YouTube channel was deciding to quit my other job, doing construction. Now, let me give you a little bit of context. I had only, I would just gotten married, been married for a month, and uh, and I was working construction for my dad. That's something I'd been doing for a couple of years. And so that was kind of not something I wanted to do in the long run, but it was what I had to do for time being to make money. After the whole um, experience with Devin Graham and the Assassin's Creed video, I saw the potential on my own YouTube channel. I wasn't making enough yet to, you know, justify quitting my job, but I knew that to really pursue a YouTube channel uh, with enough effort and time to make it successful that I'd have to quit my other job. And so that was the scary part is wasn't knowing for sure how successful I could be on YouTube, but it was, but I saw the potential there and I figured and knew if I was passionate enough and really wanted it, I could, I could make it happen and make things work. And so, so that's what I did. I, uh, I quit my job working for my dad. My dad was like, Hey, where'd you go? Why aren't you showing up to work? I was like, oh, I thought I told you I quit, and I guess I didn't tell him, so that was kind of an awkward situation. But anyways, I started pursuing YouTube, and the worst part was it was only a couple months after starting YouTube that I developed sciatica, this really awful pinched nerve in my back that put me out for six months. You guys might be familiar with the story if you've been following me for a few years, and that was rough because I had just quit my job. I, I couldn't have done construction anyways with the back injury I had, but it still, I quit my job, just was married, trying to, you know, plan on supporting a family for the future, not knowing if I'd ever recover or being a, be able to make it on YouTube because I was out for six months. And so, yeah, so that was probably the hardest part was just that there were so many things kind of working against me that made it scary but luckily 
because I was passionate, I was able to push through it, and I was able to figure out ways to make it work. And now, a few years later, I've been constantly pushing it and having success and having fun with it. And so, and a lot of that is thanks to you guys, my fans, being able to support me and watch my videos and uh, and make make things happen that way. Because if you weren't if you weren't there, if you weren't there watching my videos, I I couldn't make it on YouTube. That's just how it goes. I wouldn't have the audience. And so because you guys are supporting me, I'm able to do what I love and hopefully teach you how to do parkour and, and learn how to pursue your own passion so you can one day do what you love. But that's everything I wanted to share with you guys today. Remember, my jam is next Saturday and I'd love to see you out there if you're able to make it. But no worries if it's too far to travel. I still, you can still be there in spirit and we can just communicate and share our passions of parkour across the world through the internets. Isn't that what's great about the internet and YouTube? So even if we can't meet with each other, with people who are on the other side of the world, we can still share our passions, share our videos with each other, and almost connect on a level that wouldn't be possible otherwise. And it brings the world closer together and makes the world for a better place, especially in the parkour community. So, anyways, look forward to seeing you guys on Saturday, and if not there, then just here on YouTube. So, thanks for watching.